All right, I'm on the field here at the bank. The Jaguars just wrapped up that second preseason game of the year against the Cleveland Browns. Not the outcome of the overall game that Jaguars fans wanted to see, but there's definitely some encouraging things early on in the game. Here's my takeaway from the game. The Jaguars offense should be a lot more efficient than it was a year ago. Should be a lot more fun to watch too. Trevor Lawrence looked okay. There were a couple of passes I'm sure he'd like to have back, but very efficient night from Trevor. Zay Jones, phenomenal. I can't believe they forgot about Dre, or Zay. <laughs> um, so we'll have to see what Zay can do. Uh, if he, I, he looks like he He's on pace to kind of set a new career high mark. Zay Jones has looked phenomenal through training camp, carried that over into tonight's game. Christian Kirk not playing, so Zay kind of took the volume of those targets. We'll have to wait a little bit to finally see Christian Kirk step on the field for the first time. But my takeaway from the Jaguars offense, it should be better. Just how explosive it's going to be is going to depend on guys like Zay Jones and Travis Etienne and just how good can Trevor Lawrence be consistently to elevate this team and elevate the players. But the offense should be better. The defense on the other side of the ball also looked good. They looked okay. The starting defensive group did a good job. When the starters went to the bench, the Browns hadn't scored a point. So the Jaguars' defense should be improved as well. Here's the big thing that should be our vocabulary word moving forward as we talk about this Jaguars team. Depth. They lack depth just about across the roster. This is a team that is legitimately maybe one or two injuries away from picking in the top three or top five in the draft next year. I mean, think about it. If Trevor Lawrence gets hurt, how much do you really trust C.J. Beathard to go out there and get the job done? How much do you really trust Jake Luton to go out there and get the job done? That's the problem with this roster right now. The top, the starters can compete, but when injuries happen, who can step up and replace those guys? How much do you trust the majority of those backups? It's good that we have competition between guys like Jawan Taylor and Walker Little. Likely one of them will swing to that left side if something happened to Cam, but if there's two injuries along that offensive line, where do you turn? Right now, the Jaguars' depth is very thin. The starters look good as a group, look like they're ready to compete and win some games this year. But after that, if those injuries set in, when those injuries set in, where do they turn? That's the question that Doug Peterson and his staff have to be looking at each other and asking. But the problem with depth is you can't just build it overnight. Depth is something that's built through those late rounds of the draft, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh round picks, year in and year out. And when the Jaguars have been flopping on first round picks for years at a time, you can imagine that they don't exactly have a high win percentage when it comes to those late round picks. And that's why the depth on this roster is so waning and needs that infusion of talent. It'll take a few years, but this team should be ready to compete as long as health is there for them this year. We'll have to see as training camp kind of continues just how things continue to develop all around this roster. We'll get another look on a preseason game next week as they'll be back here on the field at the bank to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. And based on Doug Peterson's schedule for training camp, he should have another pretty physical practice coming our way on Monday. So it should be an interesting, we're definitely not done with evaluating this roster. First cuts are on Tuesday, by the way, they have to release five players, get from 90 down to 85. So a lot of those players that were playing in the fourth quarter were actually playing for the right to stay on this roster. So things are definitely interesting along the way. Uh, those are just some of my thoughts about around the Jaguars after the second preseason game. We'll check in again after uh, their practice on Monday and again after their next preseason game against the Pittsburgh Steelers.